What's up guys, this is Acorns Productions and today I want to show you how to make a riser effect inside the 3S OSC. Today, what you would do is open up your 3S OSC first. And of course, we're going to start off with the simple basic, you know, subtone depending on what key you're in. The sine wave. Let's just say that, the sine wave, okay. And what you would do is go inside your IS, your instrument properties. You have your volume, your cut, your res, your pitch, pan, and such and such. But if you want to do a riser, the first thing you want to do is go to your pitch. Now, this can work for any type of setting, whether you have square saw, a square saw mix or a sine saw mix or triangle it can go for any one of them today I want to do square go to your pitch cut on your time simply knock off everything on the end from release sustain decay hold and rise up your amount your modulation amount and remember this was in pitch you see how easy that that rise was as simple as it is if you're trying to make a long riser effect let's say you're trying to do one for like the end of your 8 or end of the 4s or your 12 this is what you would do simply uh, extend the attack how long you uh, for however long you want your uh, riser to go and let's say you want a, a different effect or a different sound to your riser go to your cut and what you have here on your cut you know you can size it back and go to your LFO turn up your amount if you like your speed slow, then it will move slow. But if you like your speed fast, and it move fast. You can even do it even faster if you like. Set it however you like. You can use the square pulse for the LFO. Another thing I would like to add to it is, you know, whenever you're making your risers, make sure you put an effect on it. Like, let's say you put a chorus. Let's put a delay on it. Of course, there's a little bit too much delay, but you know, turn down the cut or the volume, and just to give it a little bit more texture. Know, work with your time if it doesn't sound right to you. Also, use your uh, reverb. Short tail, use a longer tail. And that concludes the tutorial. 
If you have any questions, feel free to hit my email in the description below. Thanks.